Hi, my name is Vindi Lee, a chef and a content creator from Indonesia, specializing in table manners. Today, we are going to enjoy a beautiful king of fruits, that is the durian. With me, I have Mr. Harris to share this experience together. Hello, hello. So, most of you know, we eat durians with our hands, okay? But there's another way you can enjoy durians, especially in formal occasions, shall that come true? That is with spoon. Shall I choose to host a dinner party with durian? I will use spoons. Now, here are a series of spoons that you might have seen before. It's from my personal collection, hello. This would be a dinner spoon capacity of about 15 milliliters, more or less. Soup spoon, rounded, about 12 to 15 milliliters. Dessert spoon, which can be simultaneously used with a appetizer spoon. This is a cake spoon, not to be mistaken with a teaspoon. Cake spoon is for cakes, obviously. And teaspoons is for some desserts like puddings, uh, this is a little smaller. A dummy teaspoon is like a baby spoon, literally for babies. And for stirring espressos or speciality coffee. I would like, among all these spoons, you may use a teaspoon or a dummy teaspoon if your mouth is extra small. But the best spoon to execute this with is this flat surface ice cream spoon which is quite the similar to the teaspoon why because durian itself as we know is a form of custard right it's like eating ice cream sort of pudding this flat edge is gonna pick up the durian from the plate way better than a sharp edge like this you're gonna have to go your way around it so that's the physics of it. People say, oh, table manners is so too much work, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it makes sense. It makes the work much easier. And so you eat with more ease and you will look more elegant that way too. So would you like to try to eat with a teaspoon, Mr. Harris? Yeah, sure. So he is, I'm giving him a challenge today and he is served with a teaspoon and a flat plate. I have a slightly raised bowl. This is a mini soup bowl or a pudding and a serving uh, plate just to be pretty. Um, at the same time, a, a good resting position for your spoon when you're on a break. So let's start. First things first, a napkin for all occasions, especially durin. So we're gonna eat this just like so. Cut it. So a spoon is only to scoop as packed, yeah? And don't be overzealous. I know you're really excited to put this durian in your mouth, but let this be a good bite size, right? See what I mean with this flat edge? You can scoop really cleanly and it's gone, right? With a teaspoon, I won't be that confident because you leave some on the sides and then you eat it. Do I just go in like that or at the side? You can go in because the seed, as you can see, is this way. Yeah. So it's better if you take it from the side like to brush off. Yeah, rather than cutting into the seed. Like that. Right. So you see how this durian slides over? Because this is a flat plate. If this slides, it's going to hit the edge. So it's best to be served in a soup plate. And pick it up, right? There we go. And bring the food. Elbows off the tables, please. Thank you. Very nice. And bring the food to your mouth, not mouth to your food. Perfect. So earlier on, although uh, he looked, Mr. Harris looked great eating this. Two things I noticed. Elbows are on the table and you shouldn't do that. You can only put your elbows on the table when you're in resting position, conversating with someone or there's no food on your table. And also, since the bite was so small, you shouldn't open your mouth like jaws. You should just quite sizable portion and eat it, you know. It's not only for female table manners, it's also for gentlemen, all right? So we can continue. If this slides, you can use the other hand to hold the plate rather than it moving around, okay? Good. 
Relax your face. This is not an exam. <laughs> Although I'll test you later. <laughs> Good. Mmm, yummy. Better. Better. How does it taste? Does it taste better with hands or with a spoon? Hands. It's with hands. <laughs> so table manners, I like honesty and I can tell you why. Table manners is not really for enjoying food, to be honest. It is for you to be more acceptable uh, as a team player, per se, in the society. Uh, respecting other guests as well is the number one goal of table manners is respect basically so you won't embarrass yourself or embarrass your friend or the host so learning these few techniques simple skills uh, makes you more slay basically yeah <laughs>